Lesson 1.2, Place Value of Whole Numbers, Standard, Word, and Expanded Form. A place value chart contains periods as a group of three digits separated by commas in a multi-digit number. So here's the ones period, it's these three digits. Here's the thousands period, it's these three digits. And here's the millions period, it's three, these three digits. And because the place value chart continues to the left, we have more periods that aren't listed. Each place value period contains ones, tens, hundreds. See that? The thousands period has a ones, tens, hundreds. The millions period has a ones, tens, hundreds. We can read, write, and represent whole numbers by identifying the periods and the place value of the digits in the periods. We name the number and the period, then place a comma between the periods starting from the right. So we can identify that this is 798 million because it's in the millions period. We put a comma. We have 421,000 because it's in the thousands period. And the 563 is in the ones period. We have a comma between each three digits, and we start counting from this side. So we go one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, okay? The average distance between our Earth to the Sun is about 91,493,000 miles. To understand this distance, we need to understand the place value of each digit in 91,493,000. We have a 91 in the millions period. We have 493 in the thousands period. There's nothing in the ones period. The place value of the digit 9 is 10 million. The value of 9 in 91,493,000 is 9 times 10 million. That's 90 million. We can write this number in standard form as a 91 in the millions period, then a comma, a 493 in the thousands period, and then a comma, and three zeros. In word form, we would write 91 million, and we say the name of the period, million, we put a comma, 493,000, again, we're saying the name of the period, and because we have zeros in the ones period, we don't even write those. In expanded form, we would have 9 times 10 million plus 1 times 1 million plus 4 times 100,000 plus 9 times 10,000 plus 3 times 1,000. And again, these are zeros, so we didn't write them in expanded form. When writing numbers in expanded form or word form, if a digit is zero in a place value, we don't need to include them in the expression. We don't need to include these zeros. When we get to the 3,000, that's when we stop writing it in expanded form. That's the last place value. There's no hundreds, tens, or ones, so they aren't included. In 91 million, we wrote the period 493,000, and then we didn't write any more words. And notice the comma after the 91 million right here. And in word form, we wrote 91 million and then a comma. It's in the same place as it is up here. But because there were no hundreds, tens, or ones, we didn't need to write this comma because we stopped writing the words and the expanded form. So we have three forms, a standard form, a word form, and an expanded form. We have this number in standard form, and to write it in word form, we have 350,000, 200, 40. In expanded form, we would write three times 100,000, that's the 100,000's place, plus five times 10,000, 
That's the ten thousands place. We have five of them, so it's five times ten thousand. Plus two times one hundred. That's the hundreds place. There's two of them. We have two times one hundred. Plus four times ten. That's a forty. There's four tens. There are no one thousands or ones, so they're not included in word form or expanded form. We use zeros as placeholders in standard form. The total value of a number is the sum of the values of the digits in each place. Here we have this number in standard form, 24,716. In expanded form, we have two in the 10,000s place, so that's two times 10,000. We have a four in the 1,000s place, so we have four times 1,000. We have a seven in the hundreds place, so we have seven times 100. We have a one in the tens place, so we have one times 10. We have a six in the ones place, so we have six times one. If we were to add, multiply these, and then add them all together, the 20,000 plus 4,000 plus 700 plus 10 plus six, it would equal 24,716. So the total value of a number is the sum of the values of the digits in each place. Now, I live in the middle of the United States, and I never thought that so many of my subscribers would not be in the United States. More than half. And numbers written in Europe may have a different format than numbers written in the USA. In the USA, we would put a comma here to separate these three from these three. We use a comma between groups of three digits and a dot to separate a decimal from whole numbers. So two and one-tenth would be a two, a decimal point as a dot, and then a one in the tenths place. Well, in Europe, this 200,000 could be written with a dot in between here, separating the periods, the ones period from the thousands period, or there could be a space. They use a dot or a space between groups of three digits, and it differs by country, and a decimal comma to separate a decimal from whole numbers. So for these countries, two and one-tenth would be written as a two with a decimal comma and a one. For our money, we use a US dollar sign. For $2,135.25, we would write a two, and then a comma, and then a 135, then a decimal point, and a two five for the 25 cents, which would be 25 hundredths of a dollar. In Europe, this is the symbol for euros, they would write a two, and then a space, and then a 135, and then a comma instead of the decimal point, and then a two five for a fractional or decimal part of a euro. So, I'm using this method because I am in the United States. I just wanted to explain to the non-US subscribers what they're seeing, and now my US subscribers are familiar with what's happening in other countries. We can compare two numbers by writing the numbers in a place value chart. We can compare 5 million to 500,000. We write 5 million in the place value chart. We write 500,000 in the place value chart. We count the number of whole number place value positions. 5 million has one more place value than 500,000. This means 5 million is 10 times as much as 500,000. We learned in the previous video, 1.1, that moving to a next place value, we can multiply times 10, can't we? We could divide by 10 if we're going to a lesser place value. We can use place value patterns to rename a number. 20,000, well, that's two ten thousands. It's two times 10,000. And 20,000 can be thought of as 20 one-thousands. We combine the place values. We say there's 20 of them. That would be 20 times 1,000. And 20,000, we could combine these three place values and say it's 
200 hundreds. That would be 200 times 100. You can see what's happening as we combine the place values. We can say it's two ten thousands. We could say it's 21 thousands. We could say it's 200 hundreds. As one factor increases by a place value, we went from a 210 to a 20 ones, it increased by one place value here by using the ones. The other factor decreases by a place value, so the product remains the same. We went from a 2 times 10,000 to a 20 times 1,000, then a 200 times 100. So see how these kept increasing and using a zero from the other place value and these decreased, so it's almost like these factors each gave a zero to that factor. See? Here we have a number and a place value chart, and it's written in standard form. In word form, we have 4 million, notice we used the name of the period million, 23,000, we have 23 in the thousands period, and 57, but we don't write the ones period, so that is not included. When reading or writing multi-digit numbers, we only say or write the name of the periods greater than the ones period. We wouldn't say 4,023,057 ones. We only mention the thousands and millions period. We need to write the value of the underlying digit. The underlying digit is a seven. We need to figure out which place value it's in so we can write its value. And we can count the digits and count the digits on a place value chart to help us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight place values. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight place values. It's in the 10 millions place. If it's in the 10 millions place and there's seven of them, that would be 70 million. We could also just count the periods. We got a ones period, a thousands period. This must be the millions period. We know it goes ones, tens, hundreds. That's the 10 millions. Now we have the same number, but this six is underlined. And what's the value of that six? Well, we have the ones period and the thousands period, so we know it's in the thousands, and this is the one thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands. We have six ten thousands. That must be sixty thousand. We can count the number of place values to find the value of the underlying digit, or we can look at which period it's in to decide if it's in a ones, tens, or hundreds column for that period. We need to select the correct word form for this number. We have 402,309. Here we have 402, 309. Here we have 402,000, 309. Which one do you think is the correct word form? If you said this one, you're right. This is the correct word form because it lists the name of the period thousand. This one doesn't. It just says 402. And there's something else wrong with this first one. It says 309. We don't use the word and when writing a large number, a multi-digit number in word form, because the word and is generally used to mean a decimal point. We need to select the correct expanded form for that number. Would it be this first one or this second one? We have 400,000. Well, that's 4 times 100,000. And that one's 4 times 100,000. We have no 10,000s. We have two 1,000s. This is 2 times 1,000. This is 2 times 1,000. So those are both the same. We have 
three hundreds. This is three times 100. This one says 30 times 100. Well, there is a zero here. So would we write 30 times 100 or would we write three times 100? It actually would be three times 100 because there's only a three in the hundreds place. We're not combining these place values. We're just writing it in expanded form. Then it has a nine times one for the nine ones. So the first one would be the correct expanded form because there's only a three in the hundreds place. We wouldn't write 30 times 100. That would actually be 3,000, not three hundreds. We can always use a place value chart to help us to compare the number to the columns in the place value chart. We could also multiply these amounts once we write it in expanded form to see if we add them together, would we have a sum of 402,309? Because the total value of a number is the sum of the value of the digits in each place. So remember to write the name of the period, the thousands, the millions, as you're writing these in word form. And remember, if there's a zero in the place value, we don't need to write it in word form or expanded form. Our next lesson, 1.3, we're going to learn about the properties of addition, like commutative, associative, and identity. And we're going to learn about properties of multiplication, the same properties, and we're going to talk about the distributive property. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.